Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video is just honestly a quick progress update and kind of a show and tell about what I've done so far. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is my 1962 Dodge D200. I bought it last January. And um, initially what I started by doing was I cut the, the front axle, the suspension, the back axle, the whole drive shaft was, well, the drive shaft was just kind of hanging underneath of it. But I cut that all out so then I could sit the truck right down on the ground and set it at a height that I was kind of looking for. That's when I went ahead and I measured my wheel tubs and looked at some diameters and I ordered myself a set of, well, rims and tires as you can see right here. These are a really nice set of Boyd Coddington, Boyd Coddington, I think they're the Columbus series, I think. Um, bronze in the center. Uh, I love the pattern on these. Rims are a, a very interesting thing in the car community because everybody seems to have completely different opinions. But these are what I like, and I think they're going to suit this truck really well when it's done. Yeah, so I, I bought those, and then... I basically stripped the cab and the box. Um, the box, I cut the entire floor out and the wheel tubs out. I cut the floor out because it was just, honestly, it was pretty screwed up. And the wheel tubs, I needed to cut so that the wheels actually fit in there in the end. But I was mostly doing it to lighten it all up so I could take the cab and the box off the frame. And then once I got them off the frame, I sent the frame out to get sandblasted and um, that took a really long time and then once I got it back I forgot like all my measurements and everything I had set up so I had to as you see here I had to put the cab and the box back on the frame now that I've kind of updated you guys on what I've done I can tell you about what I ordered um, I started off by ordering myself a Mustang 2 front end because I want it to be independent and I my dad's car has a Mustang 2 front end and it the ride is just so smooth. That's going to be paired with some Viking performance suspension and coilovers and again that's what my dad's car has in the in it and it just it rides beautifully so I kind of just want a nice smooth riding vehicle as well. Um, and for stopping power, I have Willwood six piston calipers and 14 inch uh, drilled and slotted rotors, which are crazy looking. I've never seen a set of brakes so big, but I'm definitely really excited about them. Um, I also have, I can't remember what brand it is, but a power steering rack. And I have a competition engineering uh, four link for the axle that'll be in the back. I haven't ordered my axle yet, but I'm going to get on that one pretty quick because I need that for working on the, um, I need that for working on the frame next, which is a great segue into the next video I'll be making. Um, basically, if you stay tuned, my next goal is to get everything off the frame and my frame over on the frame jig I have right there. Um, cause I have a custom frame drawn up that utilizes the front half front two thirds I'd say of this frame but the back I'm gonna cut off and basically custom the whole back and all of my cross members along the middle I'm redoing it's a bit of a art and Morrison inspired frame but I have the utility or I have the tools to be able to make it entirely myself so I'd like to save some money by doing it that way but anyways thanks for watching I just wanted to catch everybody up and get them filled in on and I'm hoping, hoping to post some more regular videos soon. So thank you for watching.